what's up guys and welcome back. It's Monday. Normally we check out some Reddit videos, but I did get something cool. This is a gift from my buddies over at Mobile Escapes. You may know them from the videos we did with the escape rooms here in the office. Uh, they sent me a present, but not uh, not just any present. This comes with this card and this is an escape card. I have to figure out how to open this. There's a lot here, you can see. I gotta figure out how this opens. All right, so it came with this card. It says the escape card. Let's read what it says. Hey man, we got you a gift that made us think of you because we wanted to thank you for the projects that you've done with Mobile Escapes in 2019. Obviously, we're going to make you use your brain to open this box. They have these uh, these escape cards, which I guess you can give as a gift. So it says scan this with your phone and visit or visit Mobile Escapes. Okay, let's do that first. Welcome to the escape card. Watch the introduction video. There is no hint in the video. Start your escape. Click the button below. You know what? I'm not going to watch the video. I'm just going to start my escape. Let's go. Hint one. Typewriter. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we got some numbers there. Enter answer. Okay, well, if that is based on a typewriter, enter your answer. Is there a typewriter here? Oh, there is. Right here. Same letters. The letters are, there's C. The first letter is L. Second letter is O. Third letter is C. And fourth letter is K, which spells lock right there. According to this template. So we're gonna put in the answer. Enter answer, L-O-C-K. Done. Go. Please try again. Write the letters in all caps. Okay, L-O-C-K. Done. Go. Boom, hint number two, a trip to remember. This is fun. My name is Alex and I'm a travel junkie from Canada. After graduating from university, I went for a trip around the globe. I first went to Russia. Okay, wait, there's gotta be a map here somewhere. And yep. Okay, first went to Russia, then went to the Great Wall of China. After that, I went backpacking in Greece, did a safari in South Africa, visited the planet's biggest island, Australia. Close off the trip, I visited Pokemon's country of origin, Japan, and did a road trip along Route 66 in the United States and came back slowly to Canada. Northeast, Southwest, okay. What is the, uh, what are we doing here? Example. Okay, so I gotta write my answer down. Northeast of the example, I guess start with Russia. I guess I, wait, did I start, I'm from Canada. I first went to Russia. So if he's from Canada, and then he goes to Russia, that would be east. Let's write this down. So if he started in Canada, that would be my guess. So it'd be east first. After Russia, he went to China, so that's south. After that, he went to Greece, so that's west. Uh, then he went to South Africa, which is south. And then to Australia, which is east. And then he went north to Japan, and then he went east to USA, and then north again. So let's see if this works. Enter answer, all caps, east, south, west, south, east, north, east, north, done, go. Please try again, darn it, and go. Okay, so what I'm thinking now is that Started in Russia, so E N E N. Go. Okay, that doesn't work either. Let's read this again. After graduating, from, I went on a trip around the world. I first went to Russia. Graduating from Canada. That should work. All right, start over. So east would be first, or it isn't there at all. Okay, we come that far. South, yes. Okay, and then west, and then South Africa. So south, and then east. And then north to Japan. Oh, and then west. And then north. Oh, you guys are probably roasting me in the comments right now. I missed that one. See? Vigilance. Uh, it's good to be vigilant. Here we go. W, N, and done, and go. Yes. All right. Hint number three. Quick, the clock is ticking. Example, 730. Enter the answers. Oh, okay. So, I'm... Is there a clock here? There is a clock here. So what's it pointing to? Five, and that goes to 10. Four. I read it upside down. 
three, four. All right, <laughs> I can't read Roman numerals, so Rocky five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. So if that's nine, so that's a 45 then. If six is here, it'd be 445. 445, that's, oh my God. All right, let's enter the answer, 445. 445, go. All right, so hint number four, tilt to reveal. And it should be pretty easy. Uh, B divided by C plus A. So B would be 84. Let's write this down. 84 divided by C, which is 12. And then plus A, which is 42. 84 divided by 12 equals seven. Plus 42, 49. Enter answer, 49. Let's go, next page. 49, done, boof. All right, escape the bunker. Oh, okay. So we got the numbers here, and we got the lock here. Okay, so there's the door. All right, here's the door. So number one on top would be the bottom here, and it says turn two times to the left. That's the top one. Top one is turn two times to the left. One. Two. Uh, number two is over here, turn five times to the left. Five. Okay? And that one, turn four times to the right. Okay. And finally, turn two times to the right. One, two. Uh-uh. Oh, okay, that gives me a code. Two, five, six, eight. Two, five, six, eight. Go. It says two, five, six, eight. Oh no. Okay. Oh, so maybe I have to start here. That's what's up. Okay, so eight and four. So now let's do this again. So the first one is turn two times to the left. One, two. Got it. Oh wait, the number's there. Okay, maybe those numbers have to be the ones lined up. Okay, so we gotta put nine here. Okay, this is confusing because there's two different locks here. Nine, eight, six, two. Nine, eight, six, two is what I have on this row. You can't see it right now because I can't turn it, but nine, eight, six, two. Those are the numbers that line up here with that line. So we'll start there. Be on top, turn two times to the right, one, two. That gives us, oh, and it unlocks it. Hello. Well, before we unlock it, let's go put that number in one, three, two, zero. This is kind of cool. One, three, two, zero. Boom. Congratulations, the final password is compass. Tell it to the person who gave you this and enjoy your gift. All right, let's have a look at what's inside. Whoa. All right, so we got a bunch of these cards, which is really cool, because I can give these to uh, to friends. Holy cow, there's so many of them. Look at all of them. What's this? Stumpcraft. Perhaps uh, Julien Delval is perhaps most well known for his beautiful and exquisitely detailed fantasy book covers for adults and teens. Julien is also sought after illustrator for board games, which is how particular this particular puzzle came to be. Cool, okay, I'm intrigued. I have no idea what to, oh wow, okay. <laughs> Just opened a can of worms. Look at this thing, look at this thing. Oh, I have to make this out of this? Oh my God. That's actually pretty intense. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like, smells like a wood shop. It smells really nice. Very cool. Not gonna be doing this on this video, that's for sure, but what a cool, what a cool gift. That's so cool. So all the little creatures, like look, here's a frog, and the frog is not a frog in the picture. It's just a frog here. So what a, what a really interesting design. We're like a little witch here. They're all, uh, they're all super intricate little cutouts of like sorcery stuff, uh, but they, they form a greater picture, which is this. Wow, 
That's really intense. Thanks guys from Mobile Escape. You guys can check out the link below if you want to get some of these cards for yourself. Uh, there's nothing in it for me. Just thought I'd shout them out because this is a really cool gift and I like what they do and I support their business wholeheartedly. So that's it for that. Uh, but I did want to show you one more thing that I got. A creation by the Karakori Creation Group out of Japan. They make some of the coolest puzzles in the entire world. This being one of them. And it's not necessarily a puzzle. Uh, more of a piggy bank. Check that out, isn't that cool? Got little pockets, and uh, it's called a hole, hole in your pocket. All right, it's all handcrafted, it's so cool. We got this button here, and this button releases this little mechanism in the back here, you can kind of see that in that pocket. And then it stores money here. Antoine, did anybody have change? Fake coin from like this magic kit I had. Uh, but I think you place it in the back pocket as you press the button and then it locks itself in there. And the only way to get it out is if you tilt this and then the pocket comes out and then in here, there it is, the coin. So it's a cool piggy bank. What I really appreciated about this as well is um, the design here. The pocket only comes out, as you see these little rods, they stick out and they only, if you tilt it back, is the only time you can, uh, you can make them all go in like that which is kind of cool so if you tilt to the side or whatever it won't necessarily come out you have to kind of tilt it backwards cool little piggy bank and cool keepsake well there you have it that was fun that was a fun little game i thought i'd you know film myself going through this little interaction on their app and everything else so i don't know cool idea if you guys want to check it out it's too bad it isn't like a super complicated puzzle because i would have loved to solve it it's literally just a piggy bank uh, with a back pocket so that was pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. I will see you on Wednesday with another puzzle. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and all that great stuff. And we'll see you then. Peace.